Hi guys, welcome back to Fashion School with Nick Varios. So a lot of people have been requesting a how to drape a pant video. So guess what? Today is your lucky day. Now, before you begin draping your pants, you need to prep the muslin. All right, now speaking of muslin, you're gonna need a piece that's 45 inches wide by 50 inches long. Now take that piece and fold it in half and then rip it right in the middle. Cut it so you're gonna get two rectangle long pieces of muslin. One will be 22 and a half by 50 and the other will also be 22 and a half by 50. One of them will represent the front of the pant and the other will represent what? The back. Now that you have your pieces of muslin cut, you're just gonna need one of those rectangles to do the front of the pant. I'm gonna give you several measurements here, and therefore a size four pant. But you can input your own measurements, like take your own measurements for your own pair of pants, got it? So just stick with me with these measurements, and I'll explain what they're all for. The first one is the length of the pant. Now I wanna make these pants 40 inches long. That means from the waist to the floor or ankle area, 40 inches. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take your pencil, but I'm gonna use a Sharpie so you guys can see, and get a yardstick and draw a straight line that is parallel to the selvage down the length of your muslin in the middle, okay? Now what is that gonna represent? That's gonna represent right here, the middle front of your pant, right there, okay? So I'm taking my yardstick, there it is, I'm finding the middle, and there's 36 inches, add four, keep it straight, and there you go, I got 40 inches, so mark, okay? So that's 40 inches, that's the length of your pant, got it? The next measurement you're gonna need is the crotch depth. What is the crotch depth? That means from the waist to the crotch area, what is this, okay? And I'll give you that measurement, again, for size four, but you can do your own measurement. And this measurement is 12 inches. So from the top, this is the waist, okay? Measure down 12 inches and mark. Next measurement, you're gonna need the thigh measurement at the crotch level. Now, what is that? The thigh measurement at the crotch. Well, think about it. It's right here. This is your crotch and this is your thigh. So you're gonna need the measurement from the inseam to the outseam. What's the inseam? That's the inner part of your leg. The outseam is the outer part of your leg. So it's just that measurement for the front. And I'm gonna give you that measurement and that is 12 inches. So take your ruler, now find that center front line that you did, and you're gonna measure 12 inches, six on one side and six on the other. Make sure that it is perpendicular. So right there, six and then 12, and then mark it. Got it? So, so far, so good. Now, the next measurement is the bottom or hem of your pant, okay? And I'm gonna give you that measurement. That's the width. Now, of course, if you're doing palazzos, you're gonna have them be really wide. Or if you're doing skinny pants, you're gonna do them skinny. This is basically like a straight leg. And so the front width of the hem will be eight inches. So go down to here, to the floor, the ankle area, okay? And measure eight inches. Okay, four on one side and four on the other. And mark, got it? Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect. You're gonna connect that hem to the thigh crotch area and do it with a yardstick, okay? Because it's long enough. And do it in a straight line, okay? Like that. So you connect, see? That's my out seam. And now the inseam. Go from the ankle hem all the way to the crotch, got it? So now, that's the leg. That is the leg of your pant right there, okay? Next step, we're gonna do the top section of your pant. Now, here's a few tricks. What you wanna do is, remember I said from the waist to the thigh, this is 12 inches. So, I want you to take your ruler and measure straight up, parallel to your selvage, 12 inches, see? And mark it. Mark it right there, put a little point right there. Now this is just measuring straight up. See how I'm going parallel to the selvage? Not straight up like that, 
okay? Straight up like that, see? Okay, mark right there. Then go one inch in and mark there. You got it? Now take your curve ruler, hopefully you have one of these, place the curve part here at the top and then here at the thigh crotch area. And a good rule is 17. Do you see that number 17? Place 17 right there at the crotch and about four and three quarters right here. And go whoop, voila. You know what that is? That's the side, that's right here. It curves right here on the side, okay? So now we're gonna go to the crotch area. Another measurement I'm gonna give you. From here to in, measure two and three quarter inches. Measure two and three quarter inches. And I know all these measurements might get a little confusing and technically, and you're like, when am I gonna begin to drape? Soon enough, but trust me, all these little things help your drape, okay? So it's, that's why it's wonderful to do the prep work before you do the drape. Take your ruler and draw a straight line up. Again, it's parallel to the selvage, parallel to your grain line right there. So draw a straight line up 12 inches. Just like that, okay? The next thing now, take this curved ruler and find the really curved part and let it kiss this point and then touch this point. It's almost gonna look like, kinda like a roller coaster, or like a slide, okay? So make sure it kind of looks like that and then just go like that. See, now what could that be? That's the front of your crotch. Hello, got it? The last thing that you're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the waist. You see right there? So I like to take a ruler, slightly curved, straight at the front of the waist and then slightly curved right here at the side. Do you see that? It almost really looks like a straight line. It's just slightly curved right there, okay? Yeah, we've prepped the front of your drape. So now it's time to do the back. Okay, the next step is take the other muslin rectangle that is 22 and a half by 50, all right, for the back, and you're gonna draw a straight line that is 40 inches long right in the middle of it, okay? Okay. So now it's going to get real fun because guess what? You're not going to need any measurements. Well, almost any because here's my neck trick. You're going to take this other piece of muslin and you're going to lay it on top of your front without anything, just that straight line and make sure that it matches the straight line. Now turn it over. Okay. So the mark that you did, that straight line is touching, kissing the previous pattern that you did right there, okay? So, match it up right there, match it up, okay? And then you can see through it, and then now trace your front, okay? Now, only trace it right here at the side, and you can do this with a ruler or freehanded, and you may wanna use a Sharpie for this one so you can see through it. So trace the out seam, just trace it exactly. Trace the out seam, okay, just like that. All right, trace the hem of your pant and stop right there, all right? Now, you want to then trace the waist, but watch, this is the difference. You're just gonna go up about three quarters of an inch and stop. Do you see the difference? See how this curves up, all right? That's because your back crotch is higher. You want a higher rise. So when you sit down, you don't get plumber's butt. Okay, all right, you got that? Now, here's a trick. It's almost the same as the front, but you're gonna add an inch and a half extra, all right? So take your ruler, and you see where your inseam is on the front, do you see that? You're gonna go an inch and a half wider, all right? So take your ruler, match it up an inch and a half wider, and then just draw, draw your straight line, just like that, all right? And then the next thing, Look, follow that curve that you did in the front and this straight line, follow it, follow it. You can use your curved ruler if you want to shape it. That's gonna be the seat of your back of the pant. Do you see that? So now, look, that's your back right there. That's the back. It has to be parallel to the front. See how quick that is? Easy, okay? So now we've got your front and your back. Do you see? Hi. Done. See how easy that is? So the next step is you want to just add seam allowance, cut that seam allowance, and then you're ready to drape your pants.